Lenovo's Google-powered Smart Display is a bona fide rival to Amazon's Echo Show. Not only does it look and sound better with its HD quality display and booming speakers, it integrates seamlessly with all of your favorite Google services. But as capable as it is, it is not without its flaws. Lenovo Smart Display is for those who like the idea of Amazon's Echo Show, but prefers Google's ecosystem of apps and services. Imagine a Google Home speaker with a display, and you get the idea. It's priced at $200 for the 8-inch version, or $250 for the 10-inch version. Amazon's Echo Show and Echo Spot prove that incorporating a display into a smart speaker sort of makes sense. It adds helpful visual context, like the currently playing song or a five-day weather forecast. Google's idea of a smart display does many of the same things, but takes it a step further thanks to that Google integration. Say, show me the way to the Golden Gate Bridge, for example, and it will not only show you the map on the screen, it will even send the directions to your phone via Google Maps. When you look up recipes on Google's smart display, it brings up a list of results from a variety of different websites. Tap on one, and it will bring up said recipe, complete with ingredients list and step-by-step -step directions. You will be able to use that display to make video calls via Google's Duo service and it works as a screen for the various Nest Cams you might have around the house. Another nice perk of having a screen is that after searching for something, you will see suggestions for follow-up queries pop up on the display. You can also tap the screen to interact with the music player or play games. Not this time. I picked paper. Paper covers stone. Perhaps the biggest highlight of Lenovo's smart display by far, however, is that it plays YouTube as well as YouTube TV. YouTube used to be available on Amazon's Echo Show, but it now appears to be exclusive to Google devices. I absolutely love being able to play my favorite YouTube shows on such a gorgeous display, which I can watch while puttering about in the kitchen. While I love the YouTube integration, it does have some quirks. In order to play YouTube videos, you need to be pretty specific in what you're asking for. You can't call up your YouTube subscriptions or look up your YouTube playlists. Instead, you have to say something like, show me the latest episode of Engadget on YouTube, even if you subscribe to the channel. Like all of the other Google Home smart speakers, the Lenovo Smart Display also lets you control various smart home products like the Nest thermostat and Philips Hue lights. It has a Routines feature as well, which lets you say a key phrase to trigger a series of actions. Saying good morning, for example, could prompt it to tell you the weather, traffic of your commute, and your day's appointments, all in succession. It's compatible with a variety of music services like Spotify, Google Music, and Pandora. And you can use it to set reminders, add items to your shopping list, and thanks to Google Photos, use the display as a digital photo frame. As the first ever Google Smart Display to arrive on the market, Lenovo's Take sets the bar high. There are two versions, an 8-inch model with a gray back, and a 10-inch one with a slightly more stylish bamboo cover. The display on the 10-inch model we tested is just stunning. And the audio quality is nothing to sneeze at either. No, it doesn't have quite the deep bass of a Sonos One, but that small speaker puts out a surprisingly big sound with round, punchy notes. There are volume controls and the mute slider on top, plus a physical camera shutter toggle on the side, just in case you're a little antsy about privacy. It bears reminding here that the Lenovo Smart Display is not a tablet. It doesn't have Android or run any apps like a traditional Android tablet. Instead, it runs on the Android Things OS and launches straight into the Google Assistant interface when it boots up. You need to download the Google Home app on your phone, which needs to be on the same Wi-Fi network as the device in order for all of it to sync properly. Underneath it all is a Qualcomm 624 Home Hub platform that was designed to support a wide range of IoT devices, as well as Android things. The Lenovo Smart Display is a worthy Amazon Echo Show rival. The stylish hardware hosts a stunning display and superb audio quality. And all of the extra functionality and features that Google brings to the table makes it worth the cost.